Hello guys, I'm back again. So let's finish this baby. So then here, we were, in this video, we're making the pockets for the journal. The journal side. Sorry if you guys could hear my, my husband. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so then this one, I want it at the bottom. Oh, it's my son. I'm trying to hear, sorry guys. I'm trying to hear what's going on. Telling him drink something. I don't know if he was choking on something or what, or something spicy. Okay, I'm gonna use a cutter just to make to make it quicker. So give me a second, guys. So that one's done. So I just got to cut a little bit on this one. Okay, so now we're going to distress the ed edges. I think this paper that I'm using here, it's from that other kit. I think it was Unlimited Roses or, I oh, can't remember, something like that. I'm going to have to check on the name. Okay, so, so we have those. Bring this journal back. So like here, for example, this one's going to go here. I definitely want to stitch, but what are we gonna decorate it with is the question. Get these little bits and pieces out of the way. I'll leave this here just to cover the glare. And this one's gonna go back here. But we need some sort of decoration. So let's go back to our little, oh yeah, see the, the well, both kits. It's the Busy Bee Junk Journal Kit and the Beekeeper Junk Journal Kit that I'm using from uh, my porch prints. So there's a lot of little, you know, envelopes and stuff that I put together, but they're not all distressed. But yeah, see, so you have a, a lot to choose from. There's another one. So now we need to find what we want to use here to decorate. That's a cute little bee. I have this one here that we could layer. Um, why is there holes in here? <laughs> uh, what else can we use to decorate, guys? These are all journaling cards. We got some bees right there. That's cute. We can probably use that somewhere. Oh, then there's this one too. Oh, it's the same one, but shrunk. When oh, I never use this little envelope thingy. Um, oh, wait a minute. What about this one over here? Too big. I 
there's a small one right there. I feel like I gotta have some, a bee, you know? When those little pieces were in the kit too. Let's try to see what there is. That's so cute. What I can use to play with. Um, I think that's it. And we have these little banner thingies. Okay, that's it. Throw that over there. So, so far that's what I, what called me. Because we need, oh, let me close my, my um, glue. I keep forgetting to put the pin in there and then it dries up on me. So yeah, let's play guys. So I was thinking something like that there. This one, oh, got glue everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let me trim a little bit on this side. move over here I, I feel like you guys are saying patty you're not in frame so hold on yep see I wasn't in frame my goodness okay so move these out of the way so here I'm thinking that and here I'm thinking this now I am I do like this but that's not gonna fit now if I put the smaller one it's too big for here Unless I can trim it a little bit. Let's see. Well, it might work. thinking that there at the bottom maybe on the bottom <laughs> okay now we need to go get some fibers and I'm thinking I was thinking of of a uh, cheesecloth but then I'm thinking about this kind of stuff oh wait there's a smaller one, but I was thinking of something like that with some lace. It's all crinkly. Let's see. Cut that piece off. Let's just pretend. That's what we want. Throw that crinkly one away. And then this one. We just cut a, a piece off to get this out of the way. Throw it back there. So then here. Actually, that's the little threads in a bit 
<sighs> I don't like this, this that it's like all flimsy and ugly. Then I'm thinking some some lace. Would lace look cute with it? Like, let's try this one. Since we have this small piece here. Ah, oh, it's not long enough. Okay. Let's get a bigger piece, guys. Not that one. Or I wonder if cheesecloth would look cute. I don't know. I think that one's going to blend. What do you guys think? Let's see, guys. Let's just say we put a little bit there. Yeah, I think that blends too much. Yeah, no. Get up. So let me find a piece of lace here. have some of this that we can use. I got a mess here, guys. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Grab this little guy. And I'm gonna say there. Whoops. That didn't go too well. But that's okay. And then this one there okay so I'm thinking that one like that this one is definitely too big and crooked <laughs> Okay, so let's say that there, that, how would it look with it on the top? I gotta straighten it out, guys, but I'm trying to get a feel for if I want it on the top or the bottom of the burlap. What would look better? Hmm, I'm thinking on the top. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my glue. And I'm going to put glue only in the center. Pop you over there. And then I'm going to grab this. Looks like it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to... And then I'm going to trim around it. Just press it down, get my scissors, and let's hope I do a good job, guys. I'm getting hungry. Oh, where are we in minutes? Shoot. I said one to two videos. It's probably going to be three, huh? Okay. I think that might be too big and this is not going to show as much. I may have to cut a bigger one. This one on the bottom is a little bit too long from the other ones. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut a bigger one if I want the burlap to show. lap it is. Get this little mess here. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. And I'm just going to do a quick cut here straight. Just so I don't have this whole piece here. Now, this one. See, I don't know. It's all bent it and it bothers me. Cut that off. 
So now this one can go there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put glue on the center only because I'm going to stitch it. So, And then I just want enough to pop out. Press down. Be nice if you let it dry first, but you know me. I can't wait. Okay. So now let's go to the other little one. Oh, over here. Again, we're going to put glue there. Put the lace on top. And then trim. I think I'm leaving it too long, but we'll see. Where are we? 16. Hurry up, Betty, hurry up. Here it is. So then, was this my piece? Yeah. Yeah, see, I need to cut a little more, I think. glue oops okay and now close my glue I cover my glue. So that's going to go there. I'm not going to pull out the little thread, the threadies yet. Or maybe we will. Whoops. Darn it. I pulled this one. Okay. So that one there. I was thinking of sewing it first before I did this, but oh well. I started. Okay, so throw this away. I made a mess everywhere. Trimming and trimming. Move all these pieces out of the way. And now. I'm thinking of stitching it to the actual thingy. This one too, but where is my little word here that I was going to put on the bottom? Huh. Okay, we seem to have misplaced it. No. OMG. What did I do with it? Where did you go? Oh, wow. Did I drop it? 
<laughs> Goodness. Okay, I'm going to sew these here then. Just ignore that for now. See if it pops out right now. So here, again, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just to keep it in place for me for when I sew. I'm gonna say there. And then now this one. Darn it. I don't like how I pull that and it's it looks all weird now. Oh, I guess it's kind of grungy, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna try to center it. I cannot believe it. I I lost it. The little label thingy. Am I a mess or what? I don't see it and I wanted to sew it too. Okay, so then we may have to do something else since we can't find it. Because it's gone missing. Did I throw it here by accident? No. No, these are the pockets. Man. Okay, so I'm going to go and stitch this because I'm already at 22 minutes. So let me sew this real quick, guys. You guys can talk, talk amongst yourselves for a bit. And, oh, forgot to um, connect my um, sewing machine. God, my son is just being a mess. I can hear him screaming over here, playing around. That guy loves to scream. Okay, so we're gonna do the zigzag, I think. So, right there. Got that one, guys. I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> Can I believe it? I lost a little label to me. Okay, so we have this one. Book on top of this. So now this one's going to go here. Let me trim here real quick. So 
So yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking this one here. So let's glue it down. hold this one for a bit I still can't believe I lost it <laughs> but I'm sure it'll pop out when I'm done because that's what happens all the time oh my god I just looked down it's right there my goodness I'm telling you if it was a snake it would have bit me so this one was supposed to go there So now, do we want to, well, I can't put fabric really on this one because then I would have to trim it more and I don't think I can trim more. So let me put glue on this one. Okay. right there so then move this to this side and that one's gonna go right there so whoops you cut these little thread thingies Put our glue. Okay. Just hold that for a quick second, guys. So I had saved these two envelopes. These two large ones came with the the kit. So I'm thinking of putting this one there and this one on the back. But I need to distress them. Um, where am I? 28. Man, why does time go so fast? So I guess I will continue to, um, I need to add um, ephemera to these pockets and I will just, um, my next video will be the completed product. Once I got all my ephemera in there, make it look all pretty. So yeah guys, as far as pockets or anything, I think we're done. So thank you so much for joining me in this series. I had so much fun making this. Um, let me know what you guys think, but so far I think you've enjoyed it from what I've read, so that makes me feel good. Anyways, you guys take care. I will see you guys in my next video. Not sure what it's going to be yet, though, but I will see you in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.